I see the role of advanced manufacturing at Romar as we grab all of our core strengths here at Romar and we sort of mold those into a more advanced product for our customers. So taking our CMM inspection capabilities, taking our additive capabilities, our elastomeric um, IP and, and silicone injection molding uh, capabilities, along with all of our partnerships that we have with not only research institutions, but other companies and leveraging that um, as a total package to the Australian economy. It positions Romar to introduce new sovereign capabilities to Australia to support not only the new aerospace division, but also industries that are um, already entrenched deeply inside of Australian economy and vital to its um, competitiveness on a global scale. So whether it's mining industry, uh, heavy industries, space, oil and gas, we're positioned in a manner to assist all of them, whether it's supply chain flexibility or design innovation. The new role of advanced manufacturing here at Romar positions us to provide a new sovereign capability to not just Australia, but on a global scale. We can provide advanced services to not only new industries, aerospace and some of the new defense projects, but also to uh, industries that are already very well entrenched and established here in Australia. We're positioned not only to supply them with advanced parts, but also standard parts off the shelf. And we're really looking forward to collaborating on a, on a tighter scale with a lot of, uh, not just industry, but also our uh, scientific and research partners. I would really like to leverage the collaboration that we've already established with RMIT and their advanced manufacturing uh, laboratory, as well as CSIRO Lab 22. We can provide a lot of baseline data on melt pool monitoring, thermal history of parts, that CSIRO and RMIT both have the knowledge to uh, concatenate and recreate these parts after they're built. That provides us one step removed from getting away from the non-destructive evaluation of these parts after they're made to verify that they're uh, sound. Obviously my wife is Australian, so there's a bit of incentive for us to move back. We have a young child and the availability to have him in little nippers on the weekend, just getting more confidence in the water and just the more easygoing nature of Australian life. To me, it's an ideal situation to be, you know, to grow up in. His grandparents are in England and the United States, so kind of split it right down the middle by moving here. Everything from, you know, the easygoingness of the people and the acceptance and the warmth to the dedication in the scientists and researchers from CSIRO and RMIT really pushes you to provide your best, but at the same time, you don't feel like you're gonna be a failure if you don't work 60 hours a week. It seems to be more direct, more solution-driven and goal-driven as opposed to process-driven. There's a, a bit less ego as well. For the same amount of taxes, you get public transportation, clean air, beautiful beaches. What's not to love? I have tried Vegemite. My son loves it. I guess you could say I'm, I'm, in, a, I'm in the middle somewhere. Don't love it, don't hate it. Good on you, mate. Have a... <laughs> how about a cuppa? Yeah, you just, you just inflect a, at the end of yeah. every sentence? Yeah, that's right. That's very true. <laughs>